Hi everybody, welcome back to another Arbin Art of Phrasing video. I'm Jen Murata, and today we'll be working on number 37, Goodbye My Sweetheart by John Hatton. Today I'm going to talk about one fun way that I like to work on phrasing, and I use this regularly with my students. We all learn how to speak at a young age, and we learn how to read and write as a young school-aged child. So, talking, reading, and writing should be something that we're all pretty familiar with by now. Musical phrasing can easily be compared to reading and writing. Most of these art of phrasing pieces have actual lyrics or words, so it correlates very nicely with speaking, since they have literal words. A phrase is a musical sentence. It has a beginning, a middle, and an end. Some of them are short phrases, and some of them are long, just like sentences. An exercise that often helps me and my students is to write in the actual punctuation. Identify the end of your very first sentence. If it doesn't quite sound like an ending, then it may be a comma. Does the end of your sentence end in a period, a question mark, or an exclamation mark? I suggest going through your entire piece and marking in all of your commas, periods, question marks, and exclamation marks. Two people may have different markings, and that's okay. Mark it all in, play it, and then change some of it to see how it sounds different. You'll find that your inflections will change in the music if you have these markings written in, and it makes it fun to experiment with the musicality. Here's a picture of mine and how I envisioned it. It may look different than yours, and that's okay. You may change your mind when you play it, and the more you do this with your pieces, you'll be able to do it as you play, without having to write it in. One thing that might make this easier is knowing what the lyrics are. I put some links in the description below so that you can hear some vocalists and see the lyrics for this piece. When you play pieces that don't have lyrics, you can still do this and interpret it with how you think the phrases lay out. Thanks for joining me again for another Art of Phrasing video. To see my upcoming videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you soon.